Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Visio to create a PERT diagram and find a critical path. So on the screen, you can see a photograph of what I'm going to recreate in Visio. So in these types of diagrams, you have an event, which is this bit, and then an activity, and then an event and an activity. And in these numbers, basically, the, the 10s, the 20s, the 30s and 40s are just event numbers. And then what you've got here is the earliest event time and then the latest event time. And then this zero is the float, which becomes the critical path. So if the, if the float is zero, that is the critical path. So in this example, this is the critical path because this task, prep cups, can happen any time during this five minute period so it's got there a float of four minutes so any time it can happen and then this dotted line just represents a dummy line to get back into the main flow so these sort of shapes are not um, default in visio so we're going to have to recreate one of these shapes and that's what i'm going to do on the next sheet now i've already done that um, and i've got a stencil with some shapes in here you can see there if you don't know how to create a, st a stencil, it's basically more shapes, new stencil, and that's it. That's all you have to do. And then you drag your shape, whatever you do, onto that stencil, and it will be there for future use. So if I just close that, I don't want to save that, because I've got mine here, Steve Projects. And I've got a, a node, these are called nodes, that I'm going to use for this diagram. But I need to recreate that. So if I just bring this one onto the screen, I'll just show you how I created it. That's the structure, if you like, of the node that I want. Now, Visio does provide a PERT diagram as part of the scheduling package, and you get things like this. But I don't want to use this type of box. I want to use this circular system, so I'm just going to get rid of that, and then I'm going to recreate this. Now, to get this, I need a circle. Now, I know for a fact if I go more shapes general, in basic shapes, there is a circle. So I've just added that stencil to this template and then I can bring a circle on. So there's the circle. I don't want a fill on that. No fill. But I want the line to be a bit fatter than that. The line can be blue and the weight of that can be one and a quarter, one and a half, is it? Yeah. So that's the circle I want. Now I need these diagonal lines and I'm going to use a line tool up here to do that. So you get these little glue points coming straight through the middle to the other side, glue it on, and the same at the top, just go straight through the middle, glue it on. Take the line tool off, back to the pointer tool, highlight that circle, and then I want to group that to make it all one thing. So now that's all one thing. Now I need to do these text boxes. So a text box is a text tool, so you just draw a text box in the circle, just come back to pointer, text, there. Now you will have to put some text in there, so I'm just going to put one zero. Now that's very small, so just go back to the pointer tool. I want that to be bold, and I want that to be black. Now you can make that a bit bigger and adjust the box if you want. If I go for 10 points, that's bigger than that even. Let's go for 12 points. 12 point looks okay. Then I'm just going to do Control D, Control D, Control D three times just to get three more text boxes and just position these into these segments like so. That's lined up. Looks pretty good. Then I'm going to group all of those so it's all grouped again. So now it's all one one shape. And then I can leave that one zero. So usually, the, usually start it with 10 and go 20, 30 and so on like that. But these all need to be zero. So I just need to change that to zero and that to zero and that to zero. So that's how you create the shape. So I'm happy with that. You go back to mine. And then to add it to your stencil. So if you've just got a new stencil, you just click on it and move it into the stencil. I'll just call this test because uh, I've already got one that I'm going to use. So test. 22 that'll do then you you know which ones are which so some of these are a bit old so now if i just delete this one 
the process to do the your project is as follows you bring your first position on onto your screen and then you can either put the connector tool on now and then it will automatically connect to it but sometimes that that starts going all over the place but I'll do that and you you, you will have to correct it afterwards so the connector tools on so that's the first event now I want a second event and in between there needs to be an activity so the activity is where you put the text so I'll put a text box in there and the first activity is fill the kettle or fill and you need to put the time in there so fill one minute now if I just knock that back off and let's make that bold as well or I can make everything bold at the end and black so that's one minute so the way this works is this box here is the earliest event time so that is going to be one minute so I need to put one in there so just double click on that get rid of that one so that's one minute so that first thing takes one minute fill kettle so now I need to do another mode which is going to be boil the kettle I'm going to go over one page here but it doesn't matter for this so this is going to be boil I didn't have the connector tool on so I can put it on now snap it in place text box above that I don't want the text box on the line so it's just going to be boil and that's going to be five mins five min five min back on two point two now while that's happening so that's now one plus five so this needs to be a six six so that's took six minutes so far I'll change the font on this later on but now while it's boiling this is where you can have other things going on so I want a a shape to come out of this this shape and then reconnect back into there I haven't numbered these so this needs to be 20 and then I'll just drag another shape on push it up there a bit connect it up it just connects straight up and I want it to come straight down back into there and this one needs to be a dotted line because it has no time so if I just go to line dashes pick these ones I'll do that a bit thicker actually the lines all need to be a bit thicker so I'll put that to one and a half I'll change this one as well while I'm at it one and a half like right, so on that one I don't think I did that one either one and a half so if you want you can um, add these sort of things to your stencil so you don't have to keep doing this sort of thing that I'm doing now so this is going to be 30 so the task or the activity for this one is going to be prep cups so I'll just put a text box there and it's going to take one minute prep cups one min so that can happen at any time so it's just going to be one minute so this this is going to be a two I need to take that off this is going to be a two one one there look two and you will fill this other section in this other segment in when we're coming back down to find the the latest event time so so far so good now this needs a little text box to explain it there's no time allocated to this so just put that down there. there's no time no time that's just a dummy connector back to this one so the next one so we're boiling it now we need to pour the water so we can't pour the water until we've done this so this is this is why that's like that so bring another node on connect it up and then the text box says pour water text pour water and pour is just one minute pour one min so that's six and then this needs to be seven so you add that up seven and that's the next one so that's 30 this is 40 numbering 40 and this is be 50 50 so the next one after you've poured the water is just to finish it off with drink let's go push another one I'm going to the second page here connect it up and then let's just bring this one down so it's lined up I didn't connect that properly so it's lined up so this is 60 six zero and drink is going to be five minutes so I just need to make a bit more space 
and I'll just change the page layout go into layout and just have it as one page one page okay so we'll continuous page there right so that's gonna be drink text box to drink and it's gonna be five minutes to drink so drink T five min take the connector text box off so five min seven and five is twelve so that's twelve minutes this whole process is twelve minutes so now you've got that <clears throat> what you need to do now is work out the float so you start off at the end that's twelve minutes and then you take off this duration here so that's going to be seven and then you've got to take these two from each other so seven from seven is zero so you're coming back again that's one minute so that's going to be six 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 from six is zero and then we've got this little arrow here where there's no time but it's still six so we're going back and we put six on there no time six you take two from six it gives you four so that's your float four you've got four minutes float time so the whole task is five minutes so it can go on any time during that task so then we're coming back from here we've got to take five minutes off this six which gives us one one so that's zero again one from one is zero and then we're back to the beginning so you can see all the zeros that is your critical path now this is a very simplistic diagram i can assure you they get more complicated than this but this is basically how you do it you take you build it up from left to right with the times and then you come back taking the times off to find out where the critical path is in your project plan now if i put some titles on this one if i go to design and just put borders on it sits in the background now you can see there i've got a problem i'll just sort that out in a minute but the background if i just go making tea that's the title and then go back to page two now i need to you can't actually click on that because it's in the background if i just do control a should better move that down so it all fits nice and neat now i said i need to make everything bold and black so if i do control a again if i go back home everything wants to be bold and everything wants to be black so it just stands out a bit better so there, there is your project plan if you like so hopefully that was of use if it's new to you that's how you do it uh, thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one